Rhodes, who recently revealed she had a baby with an unidentified NBA player. <coughs> Kevin Durant! <clears throat> <clears throat> what that was. For some reason, I never comprehended that to do porn, you actually have to have sex with people. What? Claiming she only had been intimate with one person before making her industry stop, stop the cap. I don't like having sex. I never hook up with people. I don't feel, I don't find people attractive and I've always been like that. It's like, girl, get the fuck out of here. Women just be lying. Remember earlier, right? This is a woman who claimed that she hates the porn industry, evil, it needs to be illegal. Mind you, this woman made like 20 million in eight months, right? She's still using her porn star name. Use your common sense. If something you hate gave you a name, would you still be using it? No, you wouldn't. Fuck out of here. On top of that, she continued to do porn after leaving the industry just on the OnlyFans, so it don't count as porn, huh? Man, you big goofy mother. Anyway, that's all this is. She's a cat monster. She's only saying this because she's financially secure now and no longer needs the porn. And she only dislikes the porn industry because the porn industry is more than likely run by men. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more gaming, entertainment, news, commentary, and analysis. And today we got to talk about Lana Rhodes and the porn industry. What? After the drop. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up a hundred times. All right, team, go ahead and hit the like button, the red subscribe button. If you are enjoying the content, and after you do, go into the description, follow me on all the socials Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever the case may be. Let me know that you are a sub, and I will follow you back, all right? Only doing that for the subs. Let's go ahead and get into the news. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lana Rhodes. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Um, porn star Lana Rhodes slams X-rated industry. They should make it illegal. You got to know we finna roast your ass. All right. So former porn star Lana Rhodes is blasting the industry that made her a worldwide star. New York Post is petty as hell. <laughs> Y'all petty as hell for that first statement. Saying it should be made illegal. Rhodes' real name, Amara Maple. Now, that's important. We're going to come back to that. Her real name is not Lana Rhodes. It's Amara Maple. Worked in the field for eight months between 2016 and 2017, appearing in more than 250 risky films. Just imagine how many films and scenes you got to do for eight months to appear in 250 films. I mean, you tell me. Oh no. On Wednesday, the 26 year old brunette told the Skinny Confidential, him and her podcast, that she was still scarred from the experience, declaring, I just, I don't think that it's good for anyone. They should make it illegal. Rhodes, who recently revealed she had a baby with an unidentified NBA player, <coughs> Kevin Durant. <clears throat> Whew. I don't know where that was. Was just 19 when she appeared in her first X rated scene saying she was naive about what she was getting into. For some reason, I never comprehended that to do porn, you actually have to have sex with people. What? Where is your father? Your father need to... We're going to get canceled today. Compose ourselves. <laughs> For some reason, I never... Oh, no, 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 I already read that. Claiming she only had been intimate with one person before making her industry. Stop the cap. Where's the blue cap of shame? Oh, you better be lucky I can't find the blue cap of shame. Because that was some cap right there. We we know that's cap. Hmm. Shoulder's fine, though. I ain't going to lie to you. Damn, it's good, but fine as hell. I ain't even hold you. Let, me, let me control myself. The Illinois native said she was enticed to enter into the porn industry after becoming enchanted by the glorious lives of Hugh Hefner's girlfriends on, on the TV series, The Girls Next Door. I watched the show and I was like, their lives look so glamorous compared to mine. You were 19, bro. The star recalled thinking that she was here trying to stop my sister from committing suicide every day and I could be jumping out of a trampoline into a pool in this big mansion. Rose worked as a waitress and then as a stripper before relocating to Los Angeles to kickstart her professional porn career. The teenager found instant success, becoming the most searched porn star on Pornhub with a whopping 345 million views. But the beauty, who was raised in a religious household, hated the feeling of performing in porn 
Telling the podcast, it's like circus acts. As a performer, when I was doing it, it was like, what face can I make? What sound can I make? What can I do in this movie to make it the best one? She also claimed the industry was infested with drugs and alcohol abuse. Of course! She left the field in 2017, although she continued to record and release amateur videos with her then-partner. Rose, who boasts more than 16 million Instagram followers, now works as a model and fashion designer. During the podcast, the star further revealed that she was always been, she has always been pretty much asexual and said the porn industry didn't help fuel her uh, sex drive. I don't like having sex. I never hook up with people. I don't feel, I don't find people attractive and I've always been like that. It's like, girl, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Why? Women just be lying. Why lie? In a recent uh, video, the ex-porn star put uh, put the sports the sportsman on blast, writing, I swear to God, I thought NBA players were nice guys. Next thing you know, I said I'm pregnant, and he told me to go fuck, him, fuck myself. The NBA player's identity has not been disclosed, although many have speculated that the father of the baby is either Blake Griffin or Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant! <clears throat> but that nigga's a simp. Okay, so remember earlier, right? This is a woman who claims... That she hates the porn industry. It's evil. It needs to be illegal. Mind you, this woman made like twenty million in eight months, right? She's still using her porn star name. Use your common sense. Is this camera on me? Use your common sense. If something you hate gave you a name, would you still be using it? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Imagine you're, imagine being abused for eight months. You're being whipped. I'm not saying she was being whipped. I'm saying, imagine you're a slave and you're being abused by your slave owner and they gave you a name. You know, something like... <laughs> and then you go, and because it make you famous, you go back and still use that name. Fuck out of here. On top of that... She continued to do porn after leaving the industry just on her OnlyFans, so it don't count as porn, huh? Man, you big goofy mother... Anyway, uh, this, woman's, this woman is a cat monster. That's all this is. She's a cat monster. Uh, she's only saying this... What the hell is Bo's doing? She's only saying this because she's financially secure now and no longer needs the porn industry. And she only dislikes the porn industry because the porn industry is more than likely... Run by men. It is what it is. Now, I do agree. I do agree that porn should be illegal. I think it's ruining the lives of a lot of young women and young men. And I think young women, especially at ages like 19, in a world where they got to look at Instagram and, and, and everything on social media, everybody is under this uh, pressure to live a high lifestyle. And to be honest with you, I don't dislike her for going into the porn industry. I dislike her for going into the porn industry, making $20 million, getting out and saying the porn industry ain't shit. You should be the last person saying that. Uh, I think that if anyone had a fast track to a high lifestyle, they would take it. And she took it, and now she's shitting on the industry that gave her a fast track to the high lifestyle. And so she's getting what she, what she deserves, honestly. And quite frankly, uh, to Kevin Durant, you shot a load up in this woman, and now all of a sudden you want to tell her to go fuck herself. This is why you are one of the biggest clowns in the NBA. I'm sorry to say it. Uh, please comb your head and put on some lotion, sir. Uh, anyway, I'm checking out. Uh, talk to y'all later. Let's go.